Hello everyone, this is Dr. Leela. The topic I am going to discuss is on business finance. Business finance. For establishing an enterprise, finance acts as a significant factor and determines the nature and size of a concern. It becomes important to understand the environment of finance because raising of finance compiles with the legal legislation. And the most crucial is identification of various sources of finance as it safeguards the enterprise from financial hardships. The term finance defined as monetary resources or science of money or acquiring and utilization of fund. Why this is called as monetary resources? When we talk about finance, we are talking about monetary resources that is debt and equity. It is also called as science of money. Why? Because as it provides knowledge as to how and at what time a firm should invest. And it also called as acquiring and utilization that is procurement and utilization of funds is also called as finance. Therefore, finance is understanding in many ways and basically it focuses on procurement and utilization of funds of an organization. Business finance. Business finance, this is also called as corporate finance and business finance, it is responsible for allocating resources creating economic forecast, reviewing opportunities for debt and equity financing along with other functions. In simpler words, you can define business finance as activities that are concerned with planning, raising, controlling and administering of funds that are used in the business. And finance, it has three broad categories. Uh, one is personal finance, public finance business finance. Before going into the classification of finance, let us see the importance of finance. Importance of finance under two categories. First one is utility to the undertakings and usefulness to the society. Utility to the undertakings. Here among the factors of production, that is how many factors we have, we have five factors of production. Among the factors of production, that is land, labor, organization, capital and technology, finance it assumes a important place and here one cannot think of doing a business or setting up an establishment without the needed resources. And finance it gives shape to the ideas of the enterprises. And here under this, the rate of return on investment, it depends on the efficient utilization of the funds or the resources and a financially well managed company can satisfy the various interest groups. Who are the various interest groups here? The employees, managers, government, shareholders and the society. And not only that, here the decisions of the enterprise relating to the production, marketing and personnel, it has financial consequences. And the next one is usefulness to the society. Here with efficient utilization or efficient management of the enterprise on basis of sound principles of the corporate finance, the consumer, what are the benefits you are going to get? The consumer will get the products at the low, lower prices, workers can get higher wages, shareholders will get higher dividend and government get higher revenues. These are the advantages you have uh, with the help of the finance. And when we go into the classification of finance, the first one is personal finance. Here personal finance, uh, it deals with the financial affairs of the individuals and this includes budgeting, investment, etc. Here this uh, personal finance, it covers the aspects that are related to the savings and investment. And personal finance, it is important. Why? Because to live healthy, happy and to have secure life. And the second one is public finance. Public finance, it is concerned with the income and expenditure of public authorities or in simpler terms, you can define it as public finance is the study of finance that, that is related to the government entities at any levels. Any levels in the sense like it can be a central or state or local authority. Here public finance has the wider scope. Here the wider scope it studies the impact of government policies on the economy and the scope is classified under four areas. And what are the four areas here? The four areas uh, uh, the 
scope is classified is the public income, public expenditure, public debt and financial administration. Public income. When we talk about public income, public income, it refers to the income of the government uh, which, which is earned in two ways. The two ways are tax income and non-tax income. Here when we talk about the tax income, tax income, this is in the form of either direct tax or indirect tax. Direct tax, all the individuals, salary holders will come under the direct tax, that is which we pay directly to the government. Indirect tax, indirectly uh, we pay to the government, example like sales tax, central excess tax, this and all, you can take it as example under indirect tax. And when it comes to the non-tax income, non-tax income, this includes interest income from lending money to other countries. Or it can be rent and income from government properties or it can be donations from world organization. And when we talk about the public expenditure, it is the money that is spent by the government entities like infrastructure, defense, healthcare, education on the whole as as this is the money which is spent for the growth and welfare of the country and the third one is public debt here public debt, debt in the sense when there is a gap between expenditure and income that is public expenditure if it is more than the public income then this gap is filled by borrowing money borrowing money from where it borrows from the public or from other countries or world organization and these borrowed funds is called as public debt and the last one last area under the scope of public finance is financial administration here financial administration it is all about administration of all financial administration uh, of all public finance uh, uh, public uh, income uh, public expenditure, public debt and financial administration, it includes preparation, passing and implementation of government budgets and also various policies of the government. Financial administration, it also studies the impact of policies on the social, economic environment, inter-government relationship and also foreign relationship. And the third one is business finance. Business finance, it relates to the financial uh, activities uh, as it includes both commerce and industry. Business finance is too broad concept and it applies to all financial aspects or financial activities of trade and auxiliaries of trade. That is, you can take uh, like example like banking, insurance, transport, mercantile agencies, service organization and manufacturing enterprises. Now, business finance. Business finance, it is categorized into following types that is proprietary finance, partnership finance, company finance and industrial finance. Proprietary finance. Proprietary finance uh, is also called as uh, sole proprietorship. In sole trading business, the individuals will take business with the help of the family members and he brings in his own funds besides he will get also funds from his friends relatives and other sources therefore proprietary finance it refers to the securing and managing of funds by the individuals and also organizing themselves as sole traders and the second one is partnership finance Partnership finance, that is partnership firm. In this firm, business organization, partners will bring into capital and also get money from outside sources. And here, this relates to the mobilization and control of funds by the partnership firms. Here, in both cases, that is proprietary finance and partnership finance, the liability is unlimited. And the third one is company finance. Here, company finance, this is also called as corporation finance. Here, company finance, it refers to the mobilization and administration of funds by the companies that are incorporated under the Companies Act 1956 and now the Company Act is changed to 2013. Here, company finance, it deals with the financial problems of a corporate enterprise and financial aspects like what? like promotion of new enterprise, administration at the early period, accounting problem, administration problem, which is arised out of growth and expansion. 
and here financial not only that financial administration and also financial dealing of public corporation and in last one is industrial finance industrial finance this is the term mainly which is used to refer the finance uh, supplied by the terms of lending organization for example like all financial institutions you can take it as example that is ifci idbi icici etc uh, to the various private and public sector units and here industrial finance it also includes the provisions of funds by other institutional agencies like uh, lic uh, uti and all commercial banks sources of business finance when you talk about the sources of business finance it can be categorized on basis of time period and on basis of origin on basis of time period it is categorized into short term sources and long term sources and on basis of origin it is categorized under internal and external first one on basis of time period first one is short term sources here short term sources are those that are required to be repaid within an accounting year that is within 365 days and these sources it includes bank borrowings public deposits trade credit provision and all other current liabilities and when it comes to the long term sources long term sources these are required to be repaid over a long period which exceeds more than one year and here this includes debentures loans from financial institutions foreign capital and not only that it also further includes equity capital preference capital and this equity capital and preference capital these are permanent in nature and here the second one is on basis of origin on basis of origin it is categorized into internal as well as external when we talk about the internal sources these are the sources of finance that are mobilized from within the company through its operation and here this internal sources includes depreciation returned earnings and other reserves and surplus and when it comes to the external these are the funds that are drawn outside from the outside sources and it includes from uh, includes funds from issue of shares debentures public deposits loans from banks etc